Abortion clinics in Colorado are struggling to keep up with the number of patients coming here to seek care. More people started coming when Texas restricted abortions last year, and the need is spiked since Roe was overturned and a number of states began banning abortion. Reproductive rights advocates hope that a recent voter decision in Kansas will at least keep that patient load from growing. Here's Katie Eastman. For every state that bans abortion, Colorado abortion clinics and reproductive rights organizations brace for the inevitable influx of patients. In the last 45 days, Rocky Mountain Planned Parenthood says their locations have served 773 out-of-state patients. That's compared to 206 out-of-state patients in the same 45-day period last year. The organization Cobalt helps pay the way for many of those travelers with a fund for abortion-related travel expenses. And I keep telling people, if you want to give to anything, give to practical support. Cobalt's president, Karen Middleton, says they won't turn anyone away from help. So decisions like the one voters made in Kansas help them. Too. So, of course, Kansas will um, has seen a, an increase in who they were taking care of, and I'm sure that will uh, maintain. I think if they had had to shut down, we would have seen a big um, crush of new patients. Although Cobalt has found themselves paying much more for abortion-related travel, donations are coming in from all over. Six people organized an event in Fort Collins. We didn't know them. They had 150 people there and raised $20,000, and they were all new. And it was amazing. In all of last year, they raised 260000 for the Practical Support Fund. It's already nearly doubled this year. Katie Eastman, 9 News. We should mention there is a group in Colorado that is working on an effort to ban all abortions in this state. Colorado Life Initiative is collecting signatures to get a measure on the ballot for November. They need 125,000 signatures turned in by Monday. Colorado voters have repeatedly rejected anti-abortion measures on ballots in recent years.